Today's topic is Laylatul Qadr, the night of degree. Uh, as we see, Ramadan is passing by and almost we are end. And most of us think that 27th is the Laylatul Qadr. That is a traditional thought. There is no such authentic narration regarding that. And the whole of 10 nights, especially, we're going to look for Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 nights. It can be 21, 23rd, 25th, 27th, and 29th. Still, we have time, so look for Laylatul Qadr. So, let's see with the hadith and the detail of it. Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree, and there is a surah on it. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned in a, a surah al qadr. This is that the night of decree is better than a thousand months. And this is virtuous night. It is the night in which the Quran, the book of guidance for all mankind was revealed. So Quran was revealed to Luhay Mahfuz. And that's the original copy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Quran was revealed and this is the Mubarak month of the Ramadan. And angel uh, Jibreel, he brought it. And our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, every year he used to recite the Quran once. Once in front of Jibreel al-Islam. And in the end of the years he recited twice. So one recite Quran more and more in this month. It's the month of the Quran. So Laylatul Qadr Qayrul Min Al Fishahar. It's more than thousand months. If one get this uh, night as if he prayed for 83 years. Ulama says if you calculate it, it's going to be 83 years. Are we going to be alive for 83 years? If we, inshallah, if Allah wills. But are we going to spend the whole of 83 years in the, you know, service of prayer? Just doing a lot of prayer, zikr, and submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when you look for Laylatul Qadr, this is a golden opportunity. It's like, you know, Allah is saying, come to me. I'm going to give you. Why don't we avail this opportunity, which is like 83 years of it is the night full of peace and tranquility. What is the peace and tranquility? You know, all the angels descend on this earth as if how many pebbles are there on the earth? That much angels. The whole earth will, you know, fully occupied with the angels. The whole night they descended. And the peace and tranquility will be there. And we all want Laylatul Qadr, isn't it? So here it is night or full of peace and tranquility until Matlal Fajr, until the time of the dawn. So the whole night we're going to be awake and make a lot of zikr and a lot of dua, qiyamul layl, like doing nawafil. So here there is entire chapter of Quran, Surah Al-Qadr, and about the excellence and the virtues of its night. Believers search for this, you know, in the last ten night. Angel Jibreel accompanied by accountable other angels descend upon this earth during this night, bringing with them Allah's mercy and benevolence. And Abu Huraira radiallahu narrated, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna al-malaikata tilka laylata fil ardi aksaru min adadi hasa. And verily the angels who are on the earth during the night are more numerous than number of pebbles. This is in Musnan Ahmad. Every good deed done during this night is better than thousand months. Worth of good deeds. Anas ibn Malik radiallahu narrates that upon the arrival of the month of Ramadan, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Inna haza shahra qad hadarakum wa fihi laylatun qayra min alfi shahar. Man hurimaha faqad hurima qayra kullahu wa la yuhramu qayraha illa mahroom. The person who remains deprived of the blessing of this night will remain deprived of all the goodness. No one is deprived of the blessing of this 
no one is deprived of the blessing of this night except the most wretched ones so avail this opportunity we don't want the wretched one isn't it this is in suban ibn majah sunan ibn majah seek laylatul qadr in odd nights of the last 10 nights and there is a narration seek it laylatul qadr in last 10 nights if one among you show slackness and weakness in the early part of the ramadan it should not be allowed to prevail upon in the last week so this is in sahih muslim standing in the prayer during the night of laylatul qadr is a means of expiation of the previous sins isn't it we all want to have forgiveness from the previous sins abu huraira radiyallahu anhu narrated that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man qama laylatul qadr imanan wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min zambi whoever established prayer during the night of al qadr with sincere faith and hoping to attain allah's reward not for showing off noria all his past sins will be forgiven this is in sahih al bukhari this is ma taqaddama min zambihi we all want forgiveness for us when worshiping collectively refrain from making loud noises and commotion arguments idle talk you know when you're gathering you want to do qiyam together that's okay but don't you know waste your time you know unnecessary arguing or something you shouldn't do that allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam went out to inform the people about the date of the night of al qadr there happened a quarrel between two muslim men prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i came out to inform you about the night of al qadr but so and so quarrel the news about his has been taken away hopefully it will be better for you and this is in sahih muslim so the signs of laylatul qadr let's look for the what are the signs this is in sunan abu daud on the morning following laylatul qadr the sun does not have any rays as if it were a brass dish until it rises up and there was one more narration in that says abu huraira radiyallahu anhu reported we were talking about laylatul qadr in the presence of messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said who amongst you remembers the night of al qadr when the moon arises it was like the edge of a big plate how it looks edge of a, you know after fajr just look for it every night and here there's one more narration and ibn abbas radiyallahu anhu narrated that allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the night of qadr is pleasant you know sakina pleasant neither hot nor cold the sun arises on its morning with faint redness so look for it so zir radiyallahu anhu narrated i heard from ubay bin qab a statement about abdullah bin masud radiyallahu anhu in which he said whoever stands up in prayer for the year will find the night laylatul qadr ubay radiyallahu anhu said by allah the one except whom there is no god laylatul qadr is in ramadan he swore without reservation by allah i know the night it is the night on which messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam commanded us to pray it preceded the morning of 27th an indication what the sunrise but this is he said it's not like entirely 27 that's how it may be okay it may be and most of the people they quote this but this is not it what rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said look for whole of the 10 nights all the uh, odd nights so here first of all rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam did it and he used to awake uh, his uh, daughter and son in law to do the whole of 10 nights they will be awake the whole family and they do lot of prayer lot of zikr qiyam and ask forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be on the seventh level every time we wake up for tahajjud but this last 10 nights we going to be awake for all the 10 nights and aisha radiyallahu anha she said ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when i find it laylatul qadr what should i say Allahumma innaka afuwan kareemun tuhibbu lafa faafu anni Allahumma innaka afuwan kareemun tuhibbu lafa faafu anni Oh Allah certainly 
you are most forgiving you love to forgive so forgive me so ask forgiveness may allah accept our siyam qiyam our zikr and allah forgive us all we all need forgiveness and we need mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you pass all the tests still if you have lot of good deeds but you need mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah forgive us all accept our ibada and we should remember our beloved you know those who are not in this world make dua for them to attain jannatul firdaus and also ask for the whole ummah to guide us all to be uh, on the siratul mustaqim steadfast and let's make this dua once again allahumma innaka afuwan kareem and tuhibbu lafa fa'fuanna fa'fuanni and make lot of dua and may allah forgive us all jazakallah khairan kaseera subhanak allahumma bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik so 83 years of worship when we are talking about lailatul qadr and this is entire chapter of quran surah al qadr that, that was revealed about the excellence and the virtue of this night believe in search for the night spend the last 10 odd nights of ramadan emerging worship angel jibril accompanied by uncountable other angels stand upon earth during the night bringing them mercy and benevolence abu huraira radhiyallahu anhu narrated that of sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ان الملائکہ تلك اللیلہ فی الارض اینڈ ریئلی دی اینجلز آن دی ارتھ ڈیورنگ دی نائٹ ار مور نیومرس دین دی نمبر اف پیبلز دس از ان مسند احمد ایوری گڈ ڈیڈ ڈن ڈیورنگ دس نائٹ از بیٹر دین ا 1000 ورت اف گڈ ڈیڈ انس ابن مالک رضی اللہ عنہ نریٹڈ دیٹ اپون دی ارائیول اف دی منتھ اف رمضان دی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیڈ The person who remains deprived of the blessing of this night will remain deprived of all goodness. No one is deprived of the blessing of the night except the most wretched one. This is in Sunan Ibn Majah. Seek Laylatul Qadr in odd nights of the last 10 days of the Ramadan. Ibn Umar radiyallahu anhu narrated, said, Seek Laylatul Qadr in last 10 nights. If one among you show slackness and weakness in the earlier part of the Ramadan, it should not be allowed to prevail upon him in the last week you know be active and do more and more good and standing in the prayer during the night of the laylatul qadr is a means of expiation of the previous sins uh, there is a hadith abu huraira radiyallahu anhu narrated that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever establish prayers during the night of al qadr with sincere faith and hope to attain allah's reward not for showing off all his past sins will be forgiven and uh, when worshiping collectively refrain from uh, making loud noises and commotion arguments idle talk and focus entirely on worship um, and this will for uh, you know forgive you since allah's messenger went out to inform the people about the date of night of qadr there happened a quarrel between two muslim men the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i came out to inform you about the night of al qadr but so and so quarrel the news about it has been taken away and hopefully it will be better for you this is in sahih muslim so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said on the morning following lailatul qadr the sun does not have any rays what are the signs the sun don't have that much rays it will be a brass dish until it rises up sun and abu daud and abu huraira radiyallahu anhu reported that we were talking about laylatul qadr in the presence of messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he said who among you remembers the night of al qadr when the moon arose it was like the edge of a big plate how it will be it was like a edge of a big plate and the previous hadith what we have seen that sun does not have any rays it will be like a, a brass dish and the night of qadr is pleasant neither hot nor cold the sun rises on its morning with a faint redness and zir radiyallahu anhu reported that i heard from obey bin kaab statement by abdullah bin masood in which he said whoever stands up in prayer for the year uh, of night of qadr obey radiyallahu anhu said by allah the one except whom there is no god the laylatul qadr is in ramadan 
He swore without reservation by Allah, I know that night, it is the night on which Messenger of Allah commanded us to pray. It preceded the morning of 27 and its indication was that of the sun rose with the day having no rays. Sahih Muslim. Things to do. Yearn and strive to attain Laylat al-Qadr and strive to seek it. Make preparation for worship, particularly for Qiyam during the night. You know, most of the masajid they have the Qiyam. You can go and attend Qiyam and do, if you are not going, do Tahajjit at home. Attend Rabi. Do lot of zikr. Make a proper schedule for the night. Allocating time to volunteer prayer, especially in Nawafi. Do more and more. And recitation of the Quran. Because Rasulullah every year with Angel Jibrail, he used to do once and the last day he did twice. So at least once you, you want to finish. And you can read, recite, understand, do tadabur. Those who can't pray, uh, especially for the women, they can listen. And they can listen the lecture, they can listen the recitation, they can do lot of zikr. Nobody stops you from zikr, only you can't read a Quran and also you, you can't pray and fast. And uh, a person who fasts can do etikab. Etikab should be done in the masjid. And have your children and family members join you in the worship. And the uh, people who, as I mentioned, can't uh, pray. Even the old people, if they can't read more Quran, do lot of khasbi, lot of zikr. And, and in the Laylat al-Qadr, what is the dua? Uh, Aisha radiallahu asked Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa what dua if I get the Laylat al-Qadr, what dua I should make? So it was said, Allahumma innaka afuwan tu kariman tu hibba lakwa faakwan. Allahumma innaka afuwan. Oh Allah, you are the one who pardons greatly and loves to pardon. So Allah can pardon us, Allah can forgive us. So ask forgiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the name of God, most gracious, the most merciful, we have indeed revealed this message in the night of power and will explain to thee what the night of power is. The night of is better than a thousand months. Better than 1000 means it's like 83 years of worship. We don't know how much we're going to alive. 83 years was. Then come down the angel and the spirit by the God's permission. Means angel Jibail with lot of delegation of the other angels. And how many angels will be there? Like pebbles on the earth. And this is in uh, Laylatul Qadr. That is Surah number 97. And uh, Sahih Hadith Ahmad. Seek it Ramadan in last 10 nights, but rarely it is during the odd nights, especially. Uh, it can be 21st, 23rd, 25th, or 27th, or 29th, during the last night. Whoever stays up in the prayer and remembrance of Allah on the night of Qadr, fully believing in Allah's promise of reward for that night, and hoping to seek reward from Allah alone and not from the people, he shall be forgiven. So whoever is asking, and they will be forgiven. And Shabbat Qadr, this is also the night of honor, prestige, that faithful servant rewarding. Multiply all good things of the good mercy. And let Laylatul Qadr, Khairan min al Fishar, it's better than the thousand months. And we should avail that 21, 30, uh, 23, 25, 27, 29. And Allah says in the Quran, it's better than a thousand, men, uh, a thousand months. And here, when we talk about Laylatul Qadr and Qiyam, so uh, we should understand that uh, when we talk about Etikaf, Etikaf has to be done only in Masjid. Remain in Etikaf, best way to catch in the blessing month is to remain in Etikaf, both men and women. It has to be done in Masjid and we have to avoid all the worldly things. And, but if it is necessity, only that much we have to do. And uh, there are different hadith regarding that to spend more and more time in ibadah and do lot of zikr. And uh, for doing etika, one has to do the fasting. With the fasting, do etika. Etika can be done either three days, ten days, or however you want. And Rasulullah sallallahu did in last ten days, and one time he did last twenty days. So make a schedule. We make a lot of dua because we want the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa and, and forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa and um, utilize this time, don't waste your time 
and um, uh, here this is the time you ask more and more forgiveness and make allahumma inna kafuan kariman to hibbula ka kafuani and um, allah will forgive and expiate your sins jazakallah khairan kaseera subhanakallah wa bihamdika nashadu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik lai barkatu how to protect yourself from different viruses these days we hear about corona virus nahmadu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al karim amma ba'd fa'uz billahi min ash shaitan rajim bismillah rahman ar rahim allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in surah al isra ayah number 82 wa nunazzilu min al qur'an ma huwa shifaa'un wa rahmatun lil mu'minin wa la yazidu az zalimin illa qasara we reveal the quran which is cure and mercy for the believers and this is the quran which has cure and mercy for the believers and it is add nothing to the unjust but loss for the whom for the zalimun those who don't believe in the quran so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned this is in sahih bukhari ma anzala allah da an illa anzala lahu shifa like uh, whatever the ailment you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, sends the solution for it there is nothing like except death for death there is no cure for it everyone has to die one day so what are the things we have to do like what are the prevention we have to do in order to take care of it in the end we will see the duas first thing we'll see what are the things we have to do so this uh, the virus is going on how the believers behavior should be first responsibility tawakkul submitting your affairs to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to believe that everything is predestined qadarullah all things are in the power of allah in the hands of allah is the cause of suffering as well as its removal no one can close for whom allah opens the door of his mercy if all people gather to cause pain they cannot if it's not this time everything is preordained and the second thing is safeguarding the commandments of allah so you must guard the commands of allah his obedience in all matters must avoid his disobedience in every matter there is khair goodness for the believer protect your faraiz obligation safeguard your salah how you safeguard your salah doing five times obligatory prayer doing on time the way it is masnoon and donate and give sadaqa without delay no doubt charity stands in the way of calamities third thing duas prayers invocation duas invocation prescribed by prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and treatment from the quran what are they morning evening azkar duas for safety and protection the last two ayahs of surah al baqarah reciting surah al ikhlas qalaq nas in morning and evening reading duas for protection against bad disease and catastrophic calamities i'm going to just uh, read those duas inshallah in the end reading prayers for protection from misfortune read the prayers that are read in the wake of trouble fourth is the preventive measure means take preventive measures stress on cleanliness mouthwash bathing cleaning washing nostrils hands do not forward any material without proper investigation don't spread news you know without even finding out it will create a panic avoid moving into epidemical areas if you don't have any reason to go you don't have any reason don't go just window shopping no no way patience and gratitude if any trouble comes so be patient expect rewards from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala under all circumstances thank allah show gratitude for the blessing of deen religion islam praise allah even when a disaster strikes may allah protect us all so what are the duas as i mentioned in the starting 
let's see the duas as i mentioned morning evening duas you have to do it no matter what you have to do the <coughs> morning evening dua when we talk out about ayatul shifa first thing is surah fatiha you can recite surah fatiha seven times and uh, ayatul kursi and don't forget mawazidin surah an-nas and surah al-falaq but if you recite three of them it will be good surah no, all the three uh, surahs you can recite it apart from that as i mentioned before morning evening duas but there are so many duas which will protect you like you know when we say auzu bi kalimatillah tammati min qadabihi wa ikhabihi wa sharri ibadihi min hamazati shaitan wa an yahdurun and this dua bismillah allazi la yadhuru ma ismi shay'un fi al-ardi wa la fi as-samai huwa as-sami'ul alim the sahaba who used to recite it that day he forgot to recite and uh, he had the ailment because he forgot to recite it he was very uh, like you know used to recite it regularly so recite this dua and also allahumma afini fa badani allahumma afini fi sami allahumma afini fi basari la ilaha illa anta and also bismillah aqika min kulli shay'in yuzika min sharri kulli nafsi aw ayni hasid allah yashfika bismillah aqika so if you look into the morning evening duas there are duas which prevent you from all kind of different kind of diseases and it is the duas it says for protection so in that if you see there are certain duas like you know allahumma inni a'udhu bika barasi wal jununi wal juzami wa sayyal asqam o verily o allah verily i seek refuge you in from lepidoderma madness leprosy extremely fatal disease Uh, this is beautiful dua again i'll remind you allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-barasi wal jununi wal juzami wa sayyi assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh welcome you all to dore quran english juz number 29 let's begin our session with the dua nahmadu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-karim amma ba'd fa'uz billahi minash shaitan rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب زدني علما we are doing short summary today we are doing just number 29 tabarak allazi so just time 29 starts with surah al-mulk in hadith it comes so there is a surah in the quran that is comprised of 30 verses that intercede for a man until he was forgiven and this surah is tabarak allazi bi yadihi al-mulk it is the surah surah al-mulk it will intercede for the people who recite this surah as surah prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said maniyata maniyata tabarak surah tabarak it will save from the punishment of the great meaning it is a surah that will prevent its people from being punished in the grave that is tabarak allazi this surah so it starts with tabarak allazi bi yadihi al mulk this is a makki surah and let's see the detail of this surah surah al mulk it is uh, not known from any authentic tradition when this surah was revealed but the subject matter and the style indicates that it is one of the earliest surah of the makkah revealed during the life of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam residence in makkah what are the major things in this surah the kingdom of the universe belongs to allah the lower heaven is decorated with lamps stars the dwellers of hell will wish had we only listened to the call of islam we would have not been among the inmates of the hell and also no one can help uh, against allah nor can anyone can save from the punishment of allah tabarak allazi blessed is he in whose hand is the dominion and he is over all uh, things powerful allah is over all powerful and he is who uh, created death and life to test you 
as to which of you is best in the in i number 2 this is the core which our life depends on this like a mean uh, like what is the reason what is the purpose of our life here it talks allazi khalaq al maut wal hayata liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala wa huwa al azizul ghafur so allah azza wa created us and he blessed us with numerous gifts and he is watching our action observing us as what kind of lives we live what do we do do we live as a obedient servant or as a disobedient servant so each person is being tested in this regard and no person is exempted from this each person is amal is being tested it is being observed and allah has given us clear guidance regarding what is good and what is bad what is that we have to do what is that we have to refrain from and fortunate is this person who observe the commands of allah and attains the eternal success of akhirah what is the test of life it is the ahsan amal that those work is best everybody is working for isn't it no that is ahsan according to quran and sunna that is recognized by quran and sunna and let's see now uh, let's move few more ayahs we are just doing short summary of uh, just 29 wala qad zayyana sama and we have certainly beautified the nearest heaven and stars have made from them what is thrown at the devils and prepared for them the punishment of blaze and here in ayah number 10 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about uh, they will say yes a warner had came wa qalu law kunna nasma'u naqilu ma kunna fi ashab as-sayr and they will say law kunna nasma'u if only we had been listening if only we heard or we reason we would not be among the companions of bliss so in order to learn the haq in order to learn about allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us in order to be safe from hell fire ultimately what is that a person has to do according to this ayah what is that we have to do nasmau naqilu we must listen we must understand we must learn now we must continue to listen should should never refuse to listen to good things that's what it mentioned over here and here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention later on in ayah number 14 does he created not known while he is subtle acquainted ala ya'lamu man khalaqa wa huwa al-latif al-khabir allah is subtle and i number 17 it talks about uh, or do you feel secure that he who holds authority is the heaven would not send against you a storm of stones so allah can send the storm of stones if uh, allah can do that in i number 20 we see or who is that could be any army for you to aid you other than the most merciful that these believers are not but in delusion so here clearly mentioned nobody allazi wa jundu lakum yansurukum min duni rahman in al kafirin illa fi ghurur nobody can save except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i number 23 say it is he who produced you and made for you hearing and vision and hearts little are you grateful qul huwa allazi ansha'akum wa ja'ala lakum sam'a wal absara wa la af'ida qalilan ma tashkurun and in the end allah talks about the water like water is so important and that is the important part of our life isn't it so here in ayah number 30 allah talks about see have you considered it qul ara'aytum in asbaha ma'ukum gawran faman yatikum bima'in ma'in see have you considered if your water was to become sunken into earth then who could bring you flowing water you know water has so much importance that everything depends on the water whether animals birds trees so who can produce it if allah sunken the water who can uh, get it back suratul qalam suratul qalam is also called suratul nun and it's another makki surah and all the surahs are very short and short ayahs are there and this surah has 
50 to ayahs. This is one of the earliest surah revealed in Makkah at the time when opposition to Prophet ﷺ had grown very harsh and tyrannical. In, the, in this surah, the divine issues and laws, Allah declared Muhammad ﷺ highest moral character. Commandment of not yielding to any disbelieving oath monger and slander and wicked person. Example of arrogant, stingy owner of a garden who did not want to pay charity. And as a result, their garden was destroyed. Allah is not going to treat Muslim as he will treat the criminal. Those who not believe in Allah, revelation are led by step by step towards destruction. So they have been given time and slowly Allah will catch hold of them. There are three important themes of this surah. Response to the opponent objection, warning and admonition to the disbelievers, exhortion of patience to Prophet Surah Al-Qalam, known, uh, uh, known by the pen and what they inscribe, what the angels write, what the people write. Known by Al-Qalam, Allah is swearing by the pen. Prophet said, the first thing, uh, Allah created was pen. He, ha he, ha he said to the pen to write. Then uh, pen asked, what should I write, my Lord? And Allah said, write what was decreed about everything until the hour comes, everything that is to happen. So, who likes pen's kalam? Because Allah honored the pen by making it first creation. And Allah bil Alam, Allah has taught man how with the pen. Pen is a tool of writing, of learning, education. So we should give importance to pen. Many times, you know, pen will be lying here and there. There, Allah SWT mentioned here, Noon wa kalama wa ma yaskurun. And the pen, by, by pen and what they write in line. Ma anta bi niyamati rabbika bi majnoon. You are not Prophet by favor of your Lord, a madman. Allah subhanahu wa consoling heart of Prophet that you are not a madman. And indeed, for you is a reward uninterrupted. And I number four, this is so important. And indeed, you are of a great moral character. Why an endless reward for Prophet ﷺ? Because his akhlaq was the best. And his adab with Allah, his akhlaq, manos and akhlaq was the best. Prophet ﷺ had refused to eat garlic, raw garlic. He refused to eat food that was extremely fragrant. Why? Because he said, I speak those whom you do not speak to. To meaning, Meaning, uh, speaking to Jibreel, I mean, so you have to be careful. Prophet ﷺ saying, Akhlaq al-Azim. And Aisha radiallahu said, Kuluk al-Quran. He was like a Kuluk of the Quran. And here later on we see in this surah, an incident of garden will be mentioned. In uh, ayah number uh, 15, we see, when our verses are recited to him, he says, legends of the former people. We will brand him upon the snout. I number 16. When our verses recite to him, he says, legends of former people. We will brand him upon the snout. Indeed, we have tried them as we tried the companion of the gardens. I number 17. ashabul jannah. So here mention about the people of garden, the people who are arrogant. Arrogant will be raised on the day of judgment like ants. Allah does not like arrogance. Without making exception, so they came upon the garden and affliction from your Lord while they were sleeping. In ayah number 19, because they do, do, don't want to share the fruits, they want to uh, cut off and they don't want to give to miskin and others. For now though, Muspihin, and they call one another at morning saying go early to your crop if you could cut the fruit. So they set out while lowering their voice. Why they are lowering their voice? Because they want people should not know that they are out for cutting the fruits. So they set out while lowering their voice saying they will surely not enter it today upon you any poor person. And they were saying like you know no miskin should enter today and they will not allow them. 
وَغَدَوْ عَلَى حَرْدٍ قَادِرِينَ and in ayah number 25 they went early in the determination assuming themselves able because a person thinks that he is in control of everything but what happened when they saw they said indeed we are lost ayah number 26 they said uh, we are completely destroyed فَلَمَّا رَعَوْ قَالَ إِنَّ لَدَوَلُونَ and they realize it وَغَدَوْ عَلَى حَرْدٍ قَادِرِينَ بَلَا نَحْنُ بَلَا نَحْنُ مَحْرُومُونَ So here, rather we had been deprived, the most moderate of them said, Did I not say to you, why do you not exalt Allah? They realize it, you know, that, that was the mistake and everything was destroyed. So one among them said, why don't we do tasbih, glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قَالَ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّنَا إِنَّا كُنَّا ظَالِمِينَ آن نمبر 29 they recite the tasbih they realize their mistake and they amend their mistake so we all do mistake but the thing is we should realize and amend our mistake that's what they did سَلْهُمْ أَيُّهُمْ بِذَالِكُمْ زَعِيمٌ أَمْ لَهُمْ شُرَكَاءُ فَلْيَعْتُوا بِشُرَكَائِهِمْ here in ayah number 41 and 42, or do they have partners? Then let them bring their partners if they should be truthful. Yawma yakshafu an saqi wa yud'auna ila sujudi fala yastati'un. The day the shin will be uncovered and they are invited to prostration, but the disbelievers will not be able to. Those who do not do sajda to Allah in this life will not be able to do sajda to Allah on the day of judgment. So sujood being able to do that physically and then having that chance, that opportunity uh, to do here, if they don't do it, what will happen in the hereafter, they won't be able to do. We learn uh, from a hadith, Prophet said on the day of judgment, people will be called. People will be told that each person should follow what it is used to worship. So each group of people will follow its idol, its false god, and it will be led into fire. And the Ummah of Prophet shall remain. Meaning now only the people who believe in Allah, who worship Allah alone, they shall remain. Prophet said, when everyone will prostrate, every hypocrite, he will not be able to prostrate. Because here in this life, they were just doing show off. So in the hereafter also, they were not able to do the thing when they actually want to do it. So because they, they live their life always in pretense. So here we see in ayah number 51 and 52, and indeed those who disbelieve would almost make you slip with their eyes when they hear the message and they say, indeed he is mad. But it is not accept a reminder to the words. And this shows to us that if Prophet was not in Allah's protection, the eyes of the enemy would certainly have harmed him. Their evil eye, but Allah sent him for a purpose and guarded him also against every evil. And we see Prophet was a person who had the most enemies. Most number of haters, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect him against every one of those. Either the enemies turn into supporter as they surrendered, or Allah withheld them. That is Allah's promise. Inna tansurullaha yansurukum. So, Prophet sallallahu example is the best example. Hold on to good akla, hold on to sujood, prostrate. Surah al haqqa another surah here. Surat al haqqa it talks about again Akhirah. And this is another Makki Surah. The Surah was revealed at the Makkah at the time when the opposition to Prophet ﷺ has started but had not become tyrannical. Major issues, description of the Day of Destruction, Day of Judgment, righteous people and their rewards, sinful people and their punishment. Quran is the word of Allah, not of the people, Prophet. That is a reminder for those who fear Allah. And it has 52 ayahs. And this is the Makki Surah. Al-Haqqa mal-Haqqa. Wa ma adraqa mal-Haqqa. The inevitable reality. What is inevitable reality? What can make you know what is the inevitable reality? That will certainly occur. It is Haqq. There is no doubt about it. 
kazzabat samudu wa adum bil qariya samud and ad denied the striking calamity so here mention about previous nation how they denied and how allah taala uh, you know uh, destroyed them ayah number 11 Indeed, when the water overflowed, we carried your ancestors in the sailing ship, to whom uh, they, it is referring to Nuh al-Islam, and li naj ala alakum tazkira tan wa niya wa taiya aha uzunun wa aya, and I am a twelve that we might make it for your reminder, and that a conscious ear would be conscious of it, so that you hear and you understand it. Here in ayah number twenty-two, in the elevated garden. Why they are in elevated garden? When we see in ayah number twenty, in na zanan tu ani mulaqin hisabia. Indeed, I was certain that I would be meeting my account. So he who really believes in hereafter, who is certain that yes, hisab will happen, and that yes, my deeds are being recorded, and will be careful about it. Fahuwa fi ishat or radia, so he will be in a pleasant life. Na number twenty-one, fi jannati alia, in the elevated gardens, and here talks about elevated gardens, and then kutuf fuha dania, and the fruits, you know, the fruits to be picked hanging there. When it is near, you feel so nice to pick up the fruit and whatever you want, Allah will provide you. In ayah number thirty-four and thirty-five, nor did he encourage the feeding of the poor. And why this is? Indeed, he did not used to believe in Allah, the Most Great. So because of that, if you see in ayah number thirty-two, what is the punishment for him? This is the punishment. Sil silatin zar uha sab una zar an pasaluku. So in ayah number thirty-two, then into a chain whose length is seventy cubits inserted, so he can never escape. And indeed, he did not used to believe in Allah, the Most Great, nor did he encourage the feeding of the poor. So there is not for him here's the day and the devoted friend, nor any food except from the discharge of wounds. These are the things he did. Because of that, he what the food he will have the discharge of the wounds. That is the food for him in the hereafter. Ayah number forty-three. It is a revelation from the Lord of the world. Tanzilu min Rabbil Alamin. And ayah number forty-nine. And indeed, we know that among you are deniers. Allah is saying that who is, whoever is listening. Who are deniers? Allah is talking about that. Indeed, we know that among you are deniers. And here, fifty-one and fifty-two, and indeed, it will be cause regret upon the disbelievers. And indeed, it is the truth of certainty. Fasabi bismi rabbikal azim. So exalt the name of your Lord, the Most Great. Subhanallah alazim wa bihamdihi subhana rabbil azim. We can say this as we Surah Al-Ma'arij. Surah Al-Ma'arij. The surah was revealed during the early period of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Makkah Ma'arij. And this is another Makki surah, and it has 44 ayahs, 44 verses. And the day of judgment will be equal to 50,000 years. How many 50,000 years day of judgment will be long? And also here it talks about uh, the. This surahs mostly they are talking about day of judgment. Here also talking about day of judgment, and um, paradise is not for the disbelievers. Disbelievers will have downcast and countenance distorted with the shame because they are not able to you know uh, for the disbelievers there is no paradise. Uh, believing is the key thing. No matter how good you do it, but the For for Jannah, you should do the e iman with amal sale. Then only you will have Jannah. So here we see in this surah, Allah admonishes and gave warning to the disbelievers. So sa ala sa ilumbi azabin waqe talks about a soft 
he can ask for a punishment bound to happen. What is he asking for? Punishment. He should have asked for something else. He should have asked for some qayr. But he asked for azab. Allah says to the displeasers of it, there is no preventer. It is coming. Allah is saying it is going to happen. Waqe. Lil kafirina laysa lahu da'fe. And it is from Allah, owner of the ways of ascent or the one who is exalted. And number three. Min Allah zil ma'arij. The surahs mean, here, here we can see ma'arij. Ta'ruju malaikatu wa ruhu ilayhi fil yawmin kana miqdaruhu khamsina alfa sana. And number four. The angels and the spirit will ascend to him during a day. The extent of which is 50,000 years. This is a distance in human time. Allah is upon the arsh. But nothing of a man is hidden from Allah. So Prophet Wasallam is comforted. Your enemies deny you, oppose you, but they cannot harm you. Allah is watching you. That's what it mentioned over here in Surah Al-Ma'arij. And here in Ayah number 20, When evil touches them, they are impatient. So, whenever in al insana kulikal haluwa, when a person is touched by evil, he becomes very impatient. Oh, uh, uh, I can't do anything, and you want to run away, right? And when good touches him, he withholds. When he receives something good, he becomes selfish, that he does not care to anyone. So, what is a masa who sharu jazua? But is a masahu khairu manua illa al musalli. And after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, except the observer of prayer, all but those who pray are like this because salat, what does it develop in a person? Calmness, right? If you can pray, then you, you pray and illa al musalli. But here talks about illa al musalli. Allah zina hum salatihim da'imu. Those who are constant in the prayer, regular in the prayer. They are the one who develop calmness and patience. Otherwise, a person is impatient, hasty, and selfish. And Allah Salatihin Daimun always in a state of prayer. How? By remembering Allah. And when they remember Allah in prayer and outside prayer, they can be patient. Prophet Islam, he used to say, perform those deeds which you can be easily do. Allah will not get tired of giving you reward till you get bored and tired of performing righteous deeds. And those within whose wealth is known right for the petitioner and the deprived, meaning they don't keep money just themselves. They know that the money they have, some of it must be given to who? To the others, but they don't. Sometimes what happens, people, they don't ask money. And we think if somebody is not asking, we shouldn't give. We should give them also. I number 30 and 31, except from their wives of those who right hand possess. You know how they protect themselves? That's what it mentioned over here. In the Allah azwajihim aw ma malakat. Except from their wives or those they right hand possess. For indeed they are not able to blame. But whoever thinks beyond that, they are transgressors. And later we see in ayah number uh, 33, And those who are in their testimonies upright. Their, uh, their testimony is also upright. And ayah number 39, It says, No, indeed we have created them from that which they know. So I swear by the Lord of all rising and setting that indeed we are able. And here in Ayah number 44, this Surah ends, Surah Al-Ma'arij, talks about Hashiyatan Absaruhum Tarhaquhum Zillah Zalika Yawmul Lazi Kanu Yu Adun Their eyes humble, humiliation will cover them. And that is the day which they had been promised. Surah al Nu, Nu al Islam, he did the for 950 years. And from Nu al Islam, we learned how he propagated the message. Surah al Marika, Surah al Nu, Surah al Nu, Makki Surah. And it has 22 ayahs, a short surah. 
So Surah was revealed at Makkah during the period when opposition to Prophet ﷺ had grown to be very strong and active. Major divine issues in this Prophet Nuhalislam teaching and submission to Allah after exerting all his efforts, Prophet Nuhalislam failed not to leave any unbelievers. On the surface of the earth, Allah granted his prayer. After the, you know, conveying the message, he asked that, Inna arsalna nuhan ila qawmihi an anzir qawmaka min qabla an ya'tiyahum azabun alim. Indeed, we send no to his people, saying, Warn your people before there comes to them a painful punishment. He said, in the starting ayahs, he, how he is conveying message. He said, O oh my people, indeed I am to your clear warner. Seeing worship Allah, fear him and obey me. Allah will forgive you for your sins and delay you for a specified term. In ayah number 4, he is asking, you, know, you should ask forgiveness. يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ مِنْ ذُنُوبِكُمْ وَيُؤَخِّرْكُمْ إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّةٍ إِنَّ عَجَلَ اللَّهُ إِذَا جَاءَ لَا يُؤَخَّرُ لَوْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ So he is asking, you know, why don't you ask forgiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will forgive you for your sins and delay for your specified term. Indeed, the time set by Allah when it comes will not delay if you only know. So here, and after saying that, every time, you know, uh, I invited them, you may forgive them. Ayah number 7, he talks about, he, he invited them, Lailan, Banahar, daytime, nighttime, and every opportunity he availed to do the dawah, but they did istek, um, takabur, and they didn't listen to him. So here in ayah number 7 and 8, indeed every time I invited them, you may forgive them, they put their fingers in their ears, covered themselves with the garment, persisted, they arrogant with great arrogance. And then I invited them publicly. No, Alisna, he didn't give up. He trying it, you know, he tried hard. Now they are not listening. Let me try. Summa inni da'autuhu jihara. Now he's trying publicly, openly. And now he is trying a different kind of uh, dawa techniques. So here we learn how he uh, conveyed the dawa, how he did the propagation one after another. But they didn't listen. So he asked them and, and said, ask forgiveness for your Lord. Indeed, he is ever a perpetual forgiver. Ayah number 10 is very important. This talks about forgiveness and he asks forgiveness. Who knew Al-Islam? He is saying you should ask forgiveness. Ayah number 10. But they didn't ask it. They, they didn't do forgiveness. So here, um, and said ask forgiveness for your Lord. He is an ever perpetual forgiver. He will send rain from the sky upon you, continuing showers and give you Increase in wealth and children and provide for your gardens and provide for your rivers. So when you do istighfar, what will happen? You will have profusely more rain. You will have uh, children that to a male child. Uh, and also Allah will send you gardens and uh, with the streaming water. And uh, istighfar, like you know, no matter you are going through poverty, you are going through stress, you are going, you don't have children, anything you should do is stiffer. And Allah will provide you that. And uh, Rasulullah used to do more than 70 times stiffer. We should also do more than 70 times. And uh, here in ayah number 26, uh, it's mentioned, and no said, my Lord, do not leave upon the earth from among the disbelievers any inhabitant. وَقَالَ نُوحٌ رَبِّ لَا تَزَرْ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ دَيَّارًا Because after conveying message, this is the thing he mentioned in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, then, finally what happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, رَبِّ فِرِّ وَالْوَالِدَيَّ وَلِمَنْ دَخَلَ بَيْتِي مُؤْمِنًا بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَةِ وَلَا تَزِرْ Zualimina in Latabara, except the Momini, rest of them will be destroyed. Suratul Jin, 
the surah al jinn also a makki surah when people the human beings not listening jinn listen to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they conveyed the message the surah was revealed during the early stage of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at makkah beautiful speech of jinn who embraced islam after hearing the quran jinn also have different religion and sects there are some who are muslim and some who are deviators from truth the reality of jinn for detail uh, here a few things are mentioned and some of them in uh, other surahs also mosques are built for the worship of allah so invoke no one else beside him rasul do not have power of power to harm or benefit the mission of rasul to convey the message only allah knows about the ghaib about unseen only allah has the power and allah has the knowledge of the unseen and this is another short surah it has only 28 verses qul ufiya ilayya annahu istamu nafran min al jinni wa qala inna samaina quranan ajaba here it mentions say to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it has been revealed to me that a group of jinn listen very attentively and they said indeed we have heard an amazing quran who is saying this jinn are saying yahdi ila rushdi fa amanna bihi wa lan nushrika bi rabbina ahada it guides to the right course and we have believed in it and we will never associate with our for lord anybody so they are saying we are not going to do any shit they, they are conveying the message and that too they are talking about tawhid Tawheed is so important, uh, you know. Makki surah they have lot of tawheed, and we used to sit before they in the position for hearing. Meaning, before we used to go up to the sky and listen to the angels when they ah uh, whatever information who are saying jinn that before they used to listen the things, and whoever listens now will find a burning flame lying in wait for him. Now they no more can listen anything because the flame will be there. and that flame will uh, catch them and in a uh, i number 17 and 18 uh, li nafti lahum fihi and we might test them there in whoever turns away from the remembrance of his lord he will put him whoever turns away from the remembrance of his lord he will put him into punishment so we have to be careful when you forget remembrance of allah allah subhanahu wa taala will put him to the punishment i am with 21 say indeed i do not possess for you the power of harm or right direction prophets they only convey the message they don't have power to do anything good or bad and later we see but i have for you only notification from allah and his messages and here in i number 28 that where the surah ends here it talks about that he may know that they have conveyed the message to their lord and he has encompassed whatever was with him and has enumerated all things in number liyalamun an qad ahata ablahu risalati rabbihi wa ahata ahata bima ladayhi wa ahsa kulli shay'in adada Surah Al-Muzammil. It's not Muzammil, Muzammil. It has a tashdid on it. Ya ayuha Al-Muzammil. Here talks about that this also is a uh, this surah is a Makki surah. It has two sections. The first section talks about a Makki surah. The another section, which is ayah number twenty, so longer ayah. It uh, says there is a difference of opinion some says it's makki and some says it's madani and allah ordered prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to stand in prayer the whole night uh, those who oppose prophet will be treated with heavy fetters and blazing fire the quran is a reminder for those who want to find the right way read from the quran as much as you easily can whatever you spend in the way of allah you will find it in the hereafter surah al muzammil ya ayyuhal muzammil who you one who wraps in the blanket so here now who wraps himself in clothing arise to pray the night except for a little half of it or subtract from it a little and i number 4 or add to it recite quran with a measured recitation prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is addressed over here in certain 
it seems as though Prophet was resting wrapped, wrapped up in a blanket or a shawl, or he had just laid down. He is told, now reduce your rest. Now sleep will reduce because now a very heavy responsibility is given to you. Now the Quran is a part of your life and you have to raise and do more. So, inna sanulqi alayka qawlan saqila. Indeed, we will cast upon you a heavy word. You know, coming of Wahi, it was not an easy thing. And sometimes Wahi will come and, you know, the whole camel, when he, is, he was sitting on the camel, almost it feel like camel going to crush. And leave me with the matter of deniers, deniers, those of ease in life, and allow them respite a little. And later we have been seen in ayah number 16, but Firon disobeyed the messenger, so we seize him with the Junius Caesar in I number 16. As somehow I number 18, and the heaven will break apart from ever is his promise fulfilled. So he talking about Kayama and I number 20, it's a longer ayah. Indeed, your Lord knows of prophet. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about Inna Rabbakal Yalamu Annaka Takum. Indeed, your Lord knows of Prophet that you stand in prayer almost two thirds of the night or half of it or third of it. So, how much he used to pray, that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about here. Allah knows how much you pray. That's what it's mentioned over here. And Suratul Muddassir. Ya Ayyuhal Muddassir. So, Allah talks about here, O you who covers himself with a garment. Arise and warn. Home for Anze. Arise and warn. Why are you resting people? Are they die, dying in Kufar? Means you get up and convey the message. message. For Rabba ka fakabde. And your Lord glorify. For Siyaba ka fatahir. And you, your clothing purify. So we have to purify our clothes. Here Siyaba ka fatahir. Prophet is asked to keep your clothes clean. So what about us? We should keep our clothes clean, not only clean, clean clothes, and also our heart should be clean. So Jabir bin Abdullah, he said, Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he visited us once and he saw a disheveled man whose hair was disordered. He said, would this man not find something to make his hair lie down, meaning to comb his hair? He saw another man wearing dirty clothes and he said, could this man not find something to wash his clothes with? So we have to be clean. That is a mis iman. That is a part of the iman, half of the iman that we, one has to keep ourselves clean, clothing clean. And then we, especially as a woman, when you work in the kitchen, make sure that your uh, clothes are clean, not smelly. Over it at 19 angels. So here talking about, you know, stern angels are there, 19 angels. And we have made the keepers of the fire except angels. So here talking about the angels which are very strong and stern. And later it talks about uh, no by the moon in I number 32. And by the night when it departs. And here we see. In the end, ayah number 45, and we used to enter into vain discourse with those who engaged in it. And we used to deny the day of recompense. People who deny the day of recompense until they come to a certainty. So day of judgment will come. It is for certain. And nobody can avoid that day. In the ayah number 55, and then whoever wills will remember it, the skira. And they will not remember except that Allah wills. He is worthy of fear and adequate of granting forgiveness. Suratul Qiyama and Suratul Mursalat. Again, in Suratul Qiyama, it's a Makki Surah. It talks about uh, a name itself, um, you know, specify that it talks about Qiyama. And there is no tradition to indicate the Surah period of revelation. However, the subject matter of this Surah indicates that it was revealed during the Makki period. And major issues, the Day of Judgment is certain. There is no escape from it. 
Allah himself took responsibility of preserving Quran, the last moment of disbelievers' death, take Allah's warning about day of judgment seriously. So here, Surah Al-Qiyamah, it has 40 ayahs. La oxidu, oximu bi yawm al I swear by the day of resurrection and I swear by the re-approaching soul. Wala oximu bil nafsil lawama. Does man think that we will not assemble his own? What does he think? Bala, of course we are. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, yes, of course we're going to assemble your bones. When we are dead, we are, our bones are crumbled down, again Allah will resurrect us. Because Allah can create anything. And here in Ayah number 17 and 18, indeed upon us is its collection in your heart and to make possible its recitation. So when we have recited through Jitrail, then follow its recitation. So here talks about recitation. Once recitation should be clear. You shouldn't be hasty in reciting it. You can recite it slowly and calmly with proper uh, tajweed and so on. Ayah number 26. No, when the soul has reached the collarbone and it is said who will cure him. And the dying one is certain that it is the time of separation. One has to die no matter what. The death is certain. And the dying one is certain. And the leg is wound about the leg. Meaning one leg is joined with the other leg. Because it is lifeless now. In Ayah number 29. This leg is joined with the another. At the time of death it struck about this thing. And in a, uh, later on Allah subhanahu wa mentioned. Ayah number 40. Allah says in Ayah number 40. Is not that creator able to give life to death? No, Allah can give. You know, Allah is a zalika. He called it in Allah and Yuhil Mauta. Surah al Dahar. Surah al Dahar is also called Surah al Insan. And this Surah al Insan, Surah al Dahar, Prophet Sallallahu it was Sunnah to recite in Fajr prayer at the time of the Eid, on the Fridays, on the Eid, and also on the Fridays, he used to recite the Fajr prayer. And it is also called as Surah Al-Insan. The Surah was revealed at the early stage of Prophet Sallallahu at Makkah life when he began just after the revelation of the first seven verses of Surah Al-Mudathir. Major issues in this, the universe was there before mankind existed. Then Allah created man, provided him with guidance and let him use it. An exemplary life in paradise, those who choose to believe. Allah gradually sent this Quran. And Quran is an admonition for those who believe. So, Hal Ata Alal Insan Hiyumin al Dahri Lam Yakun Shayun Maskura. He has there not come upon man a period of time when he was not a thing even mentioned. Means he was nothing. Indeed, we created man. Now, let's talk about how in a Kalaknal Insana Min Nutfadin. Man is created from a sperm drop mixture that we may try him and we made him hearing and seeing. Inna hadainahu sabila imma shakirun wa imma kafura. And here in ayah number 3, it talks about indeed we guided him to the way to be grateful or ungrateful. You have only two ways whether to be grateful or not. In ayah number 10, he talks about indeed we fear from our Lord a day that is uh, distressful. So that day will be very distressful. In Ayah number 11, so Allah will protect them from the evil of that day. He will give them radiance and happiness. It will do good. And um, after mentioning the people who do good, how the Jannah will be and how they will, the hospitality of the Jannah is mentioned later. And here in Ayah number 28 and 29, Allah talks about indeed these people love the immediate. Means and they leave behind them a grave day. Ayah number 28 and 29. And we created them and strengthened their forms and we will, we can change their likeness with complete alteration. So Allah says, you know, I can change, I can do the alteration in the hazard, this taskira. Indeed, there is a reminder. So he who will make this to not away. And 30 and 31, 
and you do not will accept that Allah wills. Indeed, Allah is ever knowing and wise. Yudkhilu man yasha fil rahmati. He admits whom he wills into mercy and the wrong he wills has prepared for painful punishment. Surah Al Mursala and with this surah, just 29 and Mursala. This is another Makki surah. In the Surah Al Mursala, this has uh, 50 ayahs. The surah was revealed in the early period during the Prophet residence at Makkah. And here, uh, I'm sorry. So, here, if this surah is read together with two surah preceding it, Qiyama and Dahar, and two surah Naba and Nazi, it becomes clear that all this surah are revelation of same period. And they deal with one and the same thing. And in this, Allah swears in the name of life giving winds, rain, angels on the day of judgment will be established. On the day that these believers will be asked to walk towards the hell, which they used to deny. And the righteous will be given all that they desire. A warning of the disbelievers and a question as to what statement after this Quran, the last revelation. And one ayah will be repeated in this. Well, Mursalati Orfa. And by those winds that are sent forth in the gust. And the wind that blow violently. By Asifati Asfa blow violently. And by the wind that spread clouds. Nashirati Nashra. And then the winds that split the clouds, separating them. The angels who bring the criterion. And the winds that cast Allah's remembrance into the heart. For is a nujum tumisat. And the nujum, indeed, when you have been promises to occur, for is a nujum tumisat, when the stars are obliterated, when the heaven is opened up. Here again, talking about in Surah Al Mursalat, how the day of judgment will be, how the things happen on the day of judgment. In ayah number 19, Wailul Yawma is a lil mukazzabi. Woe that, that day to the dinars. This ayah will be repeating. Allah will be talking about this. In ayah number 20, Alam nakhlu kukum min ma'in mahin. Did we not create you from liquid? That is disdain. Again, talking about, about nutfa here, sperm drop. Allah is saying, we are made of a sperm drop. And we placed in firm lodging, means where? In the tummy of the mother. For a known extent, we determined it. Excellent are we to determine. Go to the day, to the deniers. Again in ayah number 24, Allah repeats that ayah. Failun yawma is a lil Those who denies it. And here if we learn in ayah number 31 and 32, but have no cool shade and availing not against the flame. Indeed, it throws sparks as a huge as a fortress. As they were yellowish black camels, go the day to the deniers. How the things will be on the day of judgment that is mentioned over here. And uh, ayah number 40 it talks about go that day of the deniers and what will happen on that day. Here it means in the muttaqina fi zilali wa Talking about the muttaqin, indeed the righteous will be among the shades and springs and fruits from whatever they desire. You know, now you want to. You desire something, but it is not in the season. You don't get it. But there, whatever you desire, you, you get that fruit. Being told, eat and drink and get satisfied. And later we see in ayah number 47, Allah again talks about, What happens here in ayah number 48 and 49, and when it is said to them, bow in prayer, they do not bow. Who that day? Why they are not bowing? Why they are not doing ruku? Because they didn't do ruku, ruku in this um, dunya. They never prayed. So uh, here, that's the reason. Now, this is the time to work. There you can't do it. You know, all of a sudden, can you do it? Anything? No. Here only, this is the time where you have to do. Why will you amazingly look at Sabifa be a hadith in Badahu? Then in what statement of the Quran will they believe? This was the Jews 29. Here we end Jews number 29. And let's, uh, Jazakallah Khairan Kasira, we'll do daily reminder.
for choose number 29 tabarakal lazi test who is coming with good deed whose prayer fasting charity and characters are better best action is that which is with correct intention and according to quran and sunnah severity of hellfire it will be sign about the burst with anger and rage listening understand it is necessary to listen to truth to be safe from hellfire fear of rab there is forgiveness and reward for those who fear their rab one who cries out of fear of allah will not go to hellfire pen was the first creation of allah and he commanded to write the decree of everything never ending reward it is for prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because of his great character people with good character collect the reward of this world and the hereafter those who withhold good they will be deprived of good so share the bestowed blessing of allah with others could not do such the why hypocrites and the pretentious will not be able to do such that you know those who pre- pretentious in this world they they won't be able to do on the day of judgment violent way are ah, they destroyed by violent wind storm blowing continuously so when something happens like this prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to make dua we should also make dua it's there in fisnul muslim a book of deeds those who will receive in the right hand will be in peace in life while those who will receive in the left hand will be in the hell fire revelation quran is neither a poet word nor a soothsayer statement but it's a revelation by the lord of the universe rabbul alamin and great beside glorification subhana rabbiyal azim doing the tasbih of rab what is the ransom man will try to give ransom as a son by family to save oneself from the torment of the hellfire but it's not possible honored and respected those who have good qualities are steadfast in their prayers namaz salah and also guard it you know one we pray but we should guard also work of day and night those who call towards allah they are calling without considering day and night that's what we should do just like no al islam entrance in the hellfire people of no will drown and then enter in the hellfire so whoever has fire in his grave will enter in supplication of no al islam rabbi firli wal walidayya wal man dakhala baiti mu'minan wal mu'minina wal mu'minati wa la tazid zalimina illa tabara o my rab forgive me for me my two parents who ever enter in my house as a believer and for believing men and for believing women and do not increase the wrong doers except destruction surah al jin they listen to the quran once and it changed their lives believed and began propagating and qiyam standing in the night recite the quran in the night prayer definite gradual recitation rising up at night is very important for self control if you do tahajjud you will have lot of change in yourself lot, lot of good quality self control reward for good whatever good is from prayer obligatory charity beautiful loan you will send ahead you will find better reward for them near allah merits of creature he should be pure apparently and internally a dai of a deen has to be pure inside and outside even the clothes should be clean and tidy should not uh, favor to gain more and be patient for the sake of allah reason for entering help not praying not feeding the poor making things against the deen denying the hereafter supposition of humans allah will not be able to gather the bones why not one who is able to make the finger tips correctly he will do it easily he can do it inshallah again news of deeds news of all deeds will be given those sent ahead and got left behind bright faces now there are some places on uh, some faces will become fresh on the day of judgment after seeing their rub gloomy faces thinking that a bad breaking calamity will inflict upon them make their faces gloomy guidance he created humans and showed the path and guidance people either become grateful or ungrateful libajhilla for the countenance of allah those who feed needy orphans captives countenance of allah they do not seek any return or thanks till the decision of allah they wait with the patience do not follow ungrateful sinners remembrance of rab morning and evening do such that tasbih and 
wish of rab the ability to follow the path of rab is given by rab day of judgment will come the stars will lose their lights heaven will creep aside mountains will blow away destruction for those who deny the command of allah and the day of judgment why only you are missing in mukazibi this was juz number 29 and here we did that from surah al mulk to surah al mursalat short summary and this is a daily reminder about juice number 29 some aspect of this great creation and warning of the helper those who disbelieve allah commands prophets for his lofty qualities the and the terror of the last day has been discussed in in this and resurrection and recompense all this was talk about and mostly it was monkey surahs few of them was the madani surah this was juice number 29 the end yes subhanakallahumma bihamdika ashhadu an la